Those who commute via the blue waves of the bay might be seeing a little less green in their pockets. After the San Francisco Bay Ferry announced its fare schedule for the next five years, with prices on almost all trips going up 3% annually. The San Francisco Bay Area Water Emergency Transportation Authority, which runs the ferry service, says the increases are to counter inflation as well as rising labor and fuel costs. For riders here in Alameda Harbor Bay, a standard ride will go up a dollar from $6.50 to $7.50 over the next five years, while those using clipper cards will only see an increase of $0.60. Cents. For riders on the San Francisco-Oakland-Alameda route, a standard ticket will go from $6.25 to $7.20, with the clipper card fare increasing $0.65. Cents. There is some good news, however. Passengers 18 years old and younger will now be eligible for a youth fare, which was previously limited only to those 12 and under. I spoke to one frequent ferry rider who told me he wasn't too concerned with the fare hike. I take the ferry into the city probably once a week, and the extra few cents is going to add up, but still a good deal for a cruise across the water. Multi-trip ticket books and monthly passes have already begun to be phased out, with frequent riders urged to switch to paying with clipper cards, which offer discounts of more than a dollar per ride. This fare increase program does not include ferries headed to and from AT&T Park, although those two are expected to rise starting next year as well. In contrast, BART have recently announced plans to raise their fares every two years, with an average price increase of 3.4% starting in January of 2016. It's going up, but not as much as everything else in the Bay Area. In Alameda, I'm James O'Malley for the Academy of Art University's K-Art News.